Hi again. Look what I have, another Chinese console. What a surprise. But this time it's a little better and more expensive than the previous ones. This one was $30 with free shipping and let's take a look at it. As you can see it's basically a Game Boy Micro clone which says Game Player Micro and players it's 16 bit. Alright, Game Player Micro again, again, and again. Let's see the back. 16 bit portable game player, 2.5 inch digital AEU display. What does that mean? Rechargeable battery, so we don't have to put triple A's this time, which is a very very good feature. Built-in speaker, oh, what a feature. Uh, compatible with Mega Drive system, so basically it plays Mega Drive games, or in other words, Genesis games in the US. It has over 3000 games and available in various colors. Uh, as you can see these little images, these are not Mega Drive games, these are Game Boy games, so there was no Harry Potter on the Mega Drive or this FIFA, but uh, as you can see here it's Finding Nemo, which is actually on the device, but I guess it's only a hack. Well, let's open it. What? That's the other side. Okay, here's a manual, well one page very simple, only English, and here's the device. First, here's the charger, and look at these little cartridges, these are unique cartridges for the system and I love them look at how cute they are it's so amazing that we created a totally new cartridge format for this device and for some reason it's Russian I hope the games will be in English and here's the device itself as you can see it's very very similar to the Game Boy Micro. Unfortunately I don't have one to compare but it's really similar. It says Mega Drive Micro which is a different name that we have seen to what we have seen on the box. Let's see the device itself. Well let's start with the back the battery cover, it's rechargeable battery so screw is not a problem and you can charge it here here's the cartridge slot where you can put these nice little custom cartridges um, I don't know which side but we will try it Here's a volume selection, left and right, oh, <laughs> sorry, left and right button. I don't know why, because the Mega Drive has only three buttons, but here it has four plus two. Maybe there are turbo buttons as well. Here's the D-pad, which is very, very comfortable. The whole shell does not feel that cheap, so it's quite a good plastic, I think. Here we have a reset and a start button. Alright. The screen is quite big compared to the size of the device itself. Let's turn it on. Wow. 
as you can see it has built-in games you can play the cartridge and game settings which is only Oversea Japan and uh, PAL versus NTSC Okay, let's see the built-in games first Here is a game selection screen and as you can see most of these are beat-em-up games and I love them Let's try for example Street of Rage 2 It's a great game Fortunately there is no resolution problem at all so you can see the full game and as you can see it plays in full speed with no problem no lagging so it's a very very good job I tried playing with it a few hours and it's really really good if you like Mega Drive games, I highly recommend it. One little problem. I think you cannot see it, but the screen is a little flashing. This is the only disadvantage. I, I don't think that you can see it in the camera. Oh yeah, maybe you can see it right here. It's flashing. And the whole game itself is flashing. It's not a good thing. I don't like this, but this is the only disadvantage I've found so far. And um, after playing a little, you don't really recognize it. Let's try the cartridges. First, we have this EM8 cartridge. Well, I don't know what this might be, but let's try it. I have not tried the cartridges yet. First, let's try it this way. And it froze. Let's start the cartridge. Oh no, it does not work. Okay, then let's try the other side. Well, I cannot try, so it's supposed to be this way, but it is not starting for some reason. Oh, alright, it's Super 6 in 1. Please focus. We have Comic Zone, Sonic, Vector Man. Decap Attack, Sweat, Shadow Dancer, let's try Sonic. Wow. We can test the speed here. Oh, it's very, very smooth. Totally perfect for a Mega Drive player. Amazing, just really amazing. All right, let's see another cartridge. We have 18 in one. I don't really know if these are extra cartridges or or just some fake ones. Probably they are real ones. If they are fake, then the games are in the console itself, and uh, you can always switch the games by putting these in. But I think these are real ones. Wow, 18 games Tetris, Tiny Toon, so many games to play. Rambo. Which one to try? 
Let's try the classic Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope it will run as well as the previous Sonic game. Yes. As you can see, it's also totally perfect. Full speed, no glitches, no problem. And also, as you can hear, the sound emulation is also very, very good. Alright, I think we can move on to the next cartridge. This is 16 something. I guess 16 in mom. I hope these are English games. Right, we have Mortal Kombat, Sonic again. A lot of games, not a lot of only eight. Which one to try? Let's try Road Dash 2. Oh, and it's Russian. Well, I don't really know if the original one is that slow, but it seems a little laggy for me. Maybe this game needs a little more resource. Yes, it's definitely slower and it plays with much less frames per second. Right, so basically because I think it's a half 3D game, probably this is the reason, but let's try another game from the cartridge, X-Men, it's also Russian. But I think this will run full speed, yes, it's perfect. Okay, we have one last cartridge left, which is, oh no, I think it will also be Russian, it's a 5 in 1, but these are the same games, we already had Sonic the Hedgehog 1, also Tiny Toon, we also had Rambo 3, so why the duplicates, I don't see the point. Mm, yeah, these are just duplicates. I don't know if more cartridges can be bought for this device, but if I will find more, I will definitely buy them, because these are quite rare. So all in all, this is not a cheap device, I mean compared to the 8 and uh, 6 and 5 and 10 dollar ones. So it's $30, but it's not an 8-bit, it's a 16-bit Mega Drive player with unique cartridges, which is a very nice feature. So I highly recommend it. It's good quality, it's um, well built and plays the games very well, excluding the 3D or half 3D ones but I think that's not a big problem. So see you next time.